Yeah. The uh, Motosfield Kinetti is very standard unit and being proed out with a BTR-80. BTR-80 is an excellent transport. It's got two machine guns and pretty decent armor but it is an, and maximum speed. But unfortunately, it is also 35 points, which means that it's just a little bit more expensive than the stuff. So you can't really afford to have them and not do anything with them. But speed, the 81 kph outside of the roads, uh, on, on off-road means that the BTRs are able to close in and engage infantry units and then run before their infantry units as friends arrive. And uh, microing BTRs, especially in the early game, can get you a lot of free kills. And there are a lot of infantry units on the West German side, such as the Sikerungs, the security troops, and the flame pi and, and the pioneers, which don't have AT weapons. So parking a BTR next to them can be a free kill for you, and that is what uh, uh, the the way you can easily get the BTRs cost back. But the the main fighting force of the twenty seventh will have to be the T eighty BV. Uh, forces supported by the Tunguska and Tor and Strela uh, air defense and uh, uh, behind them the Conqueror's M high-tech ATGM missiles with 23 penetration and I don't know if you see them yet but I'm sure we will the possibly the best IFV in the game the BMP3 the Bradley does beat the BMP when it comes to penetration because the tow missile has 25 penetration the BMP3 only has 18 but the BMP's missile is longer range it's faster so it can kill other IFVs very easily and the BMP3 actually gets two cannons it gets a uh, only HE, not armor penetrated, 100 millimeter cannon, and an advanced uh, 30 millimeter auto cannon. Yeah. This means that on very long ranges, BMP threes can bring out massive HE damage, even on fortified enemy infantry. West German infantry tends to be large squads, but this uh, the the BMP threes will be able to eat those things up. Yeah, well, yeah, and it also has a lot of small squads. Like, it is it's both extremes, like either 11 man Jaegers or 5 man Panzer Grenadiers. And I like that uh, Perfects is going for the northern zone, making it a bit more e e easier for him if he captures that uh, by forcing Yuki Port to be more aggressive in the south. And having those Conquerors M, having those long range BMP3s with ATG long range ATGMs, means that those Leopards need to roll on top of you. And that's not where they feel comfortable. Like, Leos are super allergic against anything ATGM like. Their frontal armor is not the best. Even the Leo 2A3, uh, out of the heavy tanks with the, the lowest frontal armor. And they all like side armor. So if an ATGM lands in one of their side armors, they often get killed one hit. Uh, the Conquerors and Conquerors M there kill them one hit. The uh, Bastion nearly gets them one hit. So. All of that would be problematic. And yeah, Yuki will have to use the speed of the Leos here to really maneuver around nicely and get some flanking uh, attacks maybe going on or, and use the concentration that you can create with the fast and easily repositionable Leos together with the great AA defenses there with the Gephards that can help them out as well. Uh, but yeah, I feel like it's a great idea from Birthex to capture the northern point. Yeah, Berthax, uh, Berthax wants this game to go on long. Berthax wants to have entirety of the tank and infantry tabs on board before fighting happens. The soon, uh, despite this be that this being an in a a a arm tank division fighting against a mechanized infantry division, the uh, that the, the tactics on this map means that when you. Uh, that pushes are going to happen on the southern plateaus with tanks and the southern plateaus uh, are surrounded with uh, there are roads there are buildings and there are tree lines and these roads buildings and tree lines will be the ones uh, the defining features of where the tanks are going to push and all of these positions allow amazing places for atgms to hide and uh, e even if you push through uh, to one side with your tanks, there are still more tree lines and still more buildings, which can hide even more ATGMs. So a slow game with the Leopards will have the Leopards just be outclassed. But the Leopards are only 235 points. 
they're pretty cheap for a main battle tank and uh if you can start uh, taking out, get, get, getting the powerful guns of the leopards close, getting kills against the, or, or just disabling them, forcing the BMP3s to push back. BMP3s are very expensive; they're like 90 points, and uh, the this the snowball effect is uh, co absolutely possible. Yeah, and yeah, this is really going to be interesting. I only that one out there in the north. It's an interesting decision here by Yuki, and that means the striking force in the south will be a bit stronger than the one of Berthax. Even that one, not going to the north. So yeah, Yuki just surrendering it means that Yuki really ha will have to play for that open ground zone in the south. But if he can break through it, he has a great shot on that link between Delta and Bravo, and that could be a big threat. Yeah, the uh, uh, 27th has also some of the most versatile and powerful artillery in the game. They have multi-launching rocket systems, grants, they have a fast-firing, fast-traveling, nona autom self-propelled automated fire control motors, and they have a, they, they even have guided shell uh, 154 millimeter self-propelled guns. Fifth Panzer does have pretty all right uh, artillery, but Berthax's side is just way more powerful here, and artillery, of course, gets more powerful with time. If you look at the Charlie and Alpha area, the uh, the sawmill and the road down from the sawmill down to the big town, down yeah, to the big town, uh, uh, that is a that that's an that's an attack vector that uh, will uh, uh, that if the game starts grinding out, if Yukipo pushes somewhere and overextends puts too many troops into an offensive the having control over the sawmill will uh, it, the sawmill first of all it's easy to defend up uh, up north because there there is the tower which will allow allows you amazing visibility and uh, it's easy to defend with small amounts of troops and a lot of people don't attack it but birthax can possibly use it as a vector to quickly use the artillery to smoke some key positions in the town and drive down troops with the BTRs uh, in, into the town. And uh, contesting this town will force a, any mechanized, uh, blobbed up armored forces of Yukipo to start moving into the defensive. The blob tactics are notorious with 5th Panzer because, like I said, they can bring out their tanks just a little bit earlier, which uh, feeds and the fact that they also have a lot of units, uh, a lot of, lot of mechanized units, self-propelled AA and such, that the blob tactics are just pretty powerful. The way, in my experience, you want to counter a blob is you stretch the blob. You don't engage the blob on the blob's terms. You try to fight on secondary fronts. You try to pull out units and you try to gain ground when the blob is on the other side of the map. And Berthax is a very smart player, and Berthax, in my opinion, does have the preferential a division pick as long as uh, they can they can get the game to last for a long time yeah if they can avoid getting engaged by the blob uh, and uh, maybe uh, also kind of uh, kind of mitigate their strength by using atgms from long range that's one of the issues of the fifth panzer they like the british uh, divisions have mostly only milans milans do decent damage but they don't have the best range. of. They have the lowest range of the long-range ATGMs. Uh, with, and the 2,800 meter range, especially of the Bastion, means that in IFV versus IV fights, your BMP3s often can engage first and then get the kill onto the enemy martyrs before they can come close. So yeah, if you can find those angles here to put your long-range ATGMs as... Uh, as Burfax, that could be really helpful. And yeah, here we go. Final game potentially, as it is Yuki Po already on match point here. Uh, so Burfax will have to win this here to keep the game up. Let's see if we will have a series of hands. Once more, thanks to all of you for supporting us all season through. Uh, thanks for all the new follows throughout the seasons, for all the new subscribers as well. If you have a Twitch Prime laying around, consider leaving it here. Also, uh, if you haven't followed Chlorite yet on his channel, check that out right now as well. All in the description down below Twitch, on YouTube, in the chat right now on Twitch. So, yeah, let's get into the action here. Both sides moving in. Aufklärer and BO 105, they're really aggressive. But the n victory of getting the North for free will be quite helpful here for Burfax in the early game. 
That BO-105, though, is an interesting playstyle. Yeah, BO-105 is a... Uh, it is a Ooh, light... light will Fred the kill there? Unarmed. Would that would be big... Okay, good reaction there. Great okay. reaction. Spesnaz... Uh, Spesnaz Redka getting out alive and losing the gas is not bi uh, important at all. So, yeah, really important. We have one AAP is coming up in the rear. So the BO-105 will be pushed back eventually. But yeah, pull him a cheeky there, get out alive as well. The BTR stays alive for now as well. Yeah, very aggressive coming. The BO-105 Par 1 helicopter out there uh, trying to pick out the the the, the infantry early game. Uh, if, if those kills would have hit, uh, those would have been massive, massive advantages. Uh, but right now, the first player and the Jaeger Alf player uh, the Jaeger Aufklärer are actually, actually up vetted, which is rare. Generally, you want to you see recon infantry at zero vet, but these units have been up vetted, which means that I think this is a purposeful and aggressive the Merchak Waffe coming oh, up. Oh no, that's the three stacked up infantry, two of them going down, one of them going really low the tour, cannot retaliate, first missile disconnect, second one does oh. connect as well. So, yeah, Huge the early game that. here will go in favor of Yuki Por, the traits in favor of Burfex, though. Burfex's reinforcements will be better now than the ones of Yuki Por. Yuki Por trading a, a potential advantage now for a lower amount of forces in the upcoming minutes, as that Metzgerkopf is gone now. The reinforcements of Burfex now on the way. BMP3 units and co. Yeah, here we go. The lovely BMP3 long range ATGM, long range support weapon, and a decent auto cannon next to that all, all at once. But the infantry numbers here, a bit lackluster now on the front line. So let's see if Yuki Por can entrench in this frontal zone. Very heavily, Burfax buying two tanks, two T-80s and getting them close. The West German infantry don't have good AT weapons. The only weapon really that can do anything here would be the Milan 2. And the Milan 2 is a weapons team. And uh, Panzerfaust 3 is not being used by, by 5th Panzer. They're only in 2nd Panzer Grenadier. And uh, so the T-80s can be pretty close, pretty reliably, as long as they don't get side shot. And the T-80s also, of course, they... These, we earlier on we saw the T80UDs, which are the highest tech, heaviest, but these are the standard T17 armor, uh, armor gun uh, tanks with the older ammunition, so only 19 penetration. But on close range, one of the most important things is rate of fire, and the Soviets do have the autoloaders, whereas the West Germans don't. So cohesion will not matter when it comes to rate of fire. The so old losing... The Leo start on two veterans, so they have a higher rate of fire already. They start with 11 rate of, rate of fire there, and they are the better tank-on-tank -tank fighting action unit. Like, they don't pay for extra side armor, they don't pay for extra machine guns, they don't pay for an ATGM, so the Leos are the most efficient tank-on-tank -tank gun uh, tanks in the game at the moment. Uh, Leo 2A3 and Leo 2A4, and the TDVVs need to be careful there. That engagement didn't went Burfax's way. The two heavy tanks of the Bundeswehr there really doing a fantastic job. Just have to be careful with side shot. Ooh, Ooh, that's that's Leo 283 disengaging last second there. AT plane going down here. Tor and Tunguska trying to protect it, but the F4Fs doing their job and the Tor not able to retaliate in time. So. Yeah, what a start here. Really hot action from Yukipor, having control over both uh, zones in the south here now, having the plus two. And yeah, Burfax needs to find a way of at least getting back into this zone or the zone further south. And that is not going to be easy. With the BMP3s and the other signature unit of the uh, of the 27th coming up, the Nona self-propelled automatic fire control how, uh, mortars Okay, if these these things fire fast, they fire hard, they move fast, and uh, and they do a lot of damage for the, for the price that they are. The on on this range, firing at buildings, they can very reliably, uh, they, they can quickly aim at 24 seconds, and they can do large salvos. Mm -hmm. The MP2 gets a hit here in the south, barely survives. Uh, Panzer Mercer being shot at. I think the Nona should try to fire on units on the front line. Uh, next, uh, the TDBVs and T Leo 2s all still alive. Milan 2 there pushing up quite far in the south, getting the kill into the BMP 2. The Mod Retretka might be able to find them if they move into the building again. Ah, uh, no reaction there from Burfax. Burfax not quite realizing what is happening here. So good pick off here for Yuki Por. And yeah, Burfax's frontline units currently not looking that strong here. 
A bit yeah, the... Uh, only uh, but, three liter goes down, though. What killed that? I, uh, well, could it be the met met is something? I think... No, no, there's nothing there. I think it must have been the TADBVs with long-range ATGMs. Yeah. Yeah, it, so. it has been the TADBVs. The Leo 2A3 leader went down there on the open field. TADBVs getting a nice snipe. Okay, that is big. Yeah, that's the classic side shot issue, I think, uh, happening right there. So that is the kill that Burfax needed here. And we see the infantry still on the front line, but now it's two TADBVs versus one Leo 1A1, I believe that is, and one Leo 2A4 that is damaged. Meanwhile, the north, yeah, fully under control by Burfax, can move a bit around there. Um, but the question is, can he get back into the center zone? He has some infantry again in there. Oh, it's two Leo 2 A4s. It's not the Leo 1. I misread there. The martyr is the 1A1. One one. <laughs> uh, the Gephardt is the 1A1. One one. So, yeah, Leo 2 A4 still strong. Uh, but that kill got Perfects back into the game here in the center, I believe, together with the Nonas. I feel like he has some potential, especially as a TADBV is coming up, though the Leo printer is strong. Another Leo 2A4 coming up on the side of Yuki Por. Yuki is keeping that Leopard printer up. Another Leo 1A1 there. This time I'm correct with that name. Uh, 1A1A1 and a Jaguar 2, so just wants to take those long-range tank fights here. Yeah, the uh, yeah, Burfax now contesting the zone and uh, having the tactical positions to both defend this on long range and the uh, ability to start reinforcing this. I think uh, the so you look at the there's a on, on the northern part of the zone there's an ATGM team and a recon team that uh, that is a very very tactical position. If you look at the uh, site range uh, Chesk, you can you can see that that is actually you. Uh, you can target the zone on the west side where people generally send in their tanks. That's a very, very powerful location to control. It's one of the main ways, in my opinion, that you want to uh, try to fight for the middle with, uh, without uh, actually putting troops in there. And if you look at the south, there are similar positions on the southeast building, uh, but uh, that is currently not controlled by anybody. If Berthax could be able to send in recon or even ATGMs there, they could actually crossfire the tanks in the middle zone. But right now, Berthax doesn't have that map control and is uh, only relying on uh, on on still a pretty nice 90 degree angle, more than a 90 degree angle to to engage the uh, tanks here. The mobility strength of the leopards is uh, is weakened. And uh, the, the large infantry squads in close range, such as the Pioneers, don't really get to fight mm -hmm. there. Pre Leo, in it. range of the BMP3, though, does Missing. miss the first shot, but the BMP3 should get out of there now, as se especially as the second one comes out as well. That BMP3 is toast, and that's an expensive unit to lose there. Oh, it gets back because the Leo 2F4 actually, actually uh, misses, cast a curse right there. But yeah, BMP3 needs to get the hell out of there. Only wants to engage on full on long range against those Leos. It is a more an anti infantry weapon with long range anti tank capabilities. And oh, this is hot. A lot of artillery coming in here for Burfax. Double Grad plus the double Nonna. That is so much firepower here on the battlefield. Yeah, we have seen Berthax play aggressively with uh, with air so far. This is four uh, artillery pieces, two of them very expensive, bought 10 minutes in. And uh, as long as Yukipo doesn't get to, let's say, 1,200 or 1,000 points here, I think this is completely uh, in under can be completely under control by Berthax. If Berthax get these uh, tightly packed troops here, are a perfect target for rocket artillery. And uh, they can't really do anything except move away or take the hits. And if they move away, that allows uh, Berthax to move in more ATGMs to better positions. And whenever the, your, your enemy moves, you generally, if you have enough recon, you can spot where they move and start targeting even more artillery to the next place. Now we're seeing the Nonas fire, fire smoke here to cut down the middle of the zone. And uh, to even 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 tightly pack the pack the enemy with red fire the coming in, the... what will it hit? It, the Leo 2 a force are in the center of that fire. Will nice they get hit. down? They are fast, but they are stunned down quite quickly, so their speed is reduced. It seems like the Leo 2 a force um, should survive this. Pioneers going quite low as well, though, and they will be out for it. One of them even routed, so will be retreating for a long while. That ATGM. I don't think it has enough time. No, it doesn't have enough time to connect. 
but might enable a TDBV push here, though the Jaguar in the south is a scary little vehicle there. The TDBV is so far standing still. BMP3 is coming around in the south. Jaguar, is that firing on through the tour? Yeah, it is firing on through the tour in the north. The Milan 2 down here, scary as well. Tor disengaging, getting out of there. Milan 2 will get overrun though, so the southern flank here for both X might work out with the BMP3 coming up, getting rid of the Milan 2, the Leo 1A1 really stressed out, so its accuracy is in the gutters, and it gets killed off there. Okay, this is a really a hectic game right now. Yeah, the BMP3 soft attack, firing at long range, and uh, being able to fire the missiles at all of the all, all of these lighter vehicles is uh, is such a boon for for Berthax right now. The uh, the blob has been properly stretched here, and now you see the uh, the massing of the ATGMs being taking be, taking tactical map control, taking fire control here, and. Uh, it, despite Yuki Paul still being in the zone, it does kind of feel like uh, Earth actually is in control. But yeah, the TDBV has to be careful now. It, it, both sides taking a couple of losses. The trades lately better for Burfax, but Burfax still has less units on the front line because of his heavy investment into artillery. Like, th that means that he still needs to kill more here. Uh, should wait for more reinforcements. The next salvo of grad damage being similar to what he just did. And then I think he can push in with the next one, but I don't think he can push in just yet. Yeah, the the leopards uh, get the leopards are I believe are currently they just got repaired next to the panzermoses, and uh, this T T eighty needs to needs to go back. The leopards are faster, they have better movement accuracy, and they got bigger guns. Oh yeah, they see the Rajvetka now as well. That should reveal them at least for Burfax. So the TADBV should disengage. We have the next Grat Salvo coming in as well. Going for the Iltis leader there, it seems. Now let's see if they can find the kill. They're slightly off. They Yeah, that Salvo was not quite on target. And the Iltis leader just pushing forward. Leo 2A force on target of the, on the TADBV. It already used its smoke, Ooh. so it goes down. That is a big loss here for Burfax. Uh, every single of these heavy tanks is worth a hell of a lot in this uh, area right now so being one down is pretty big the leo 2 a force there one of them is pretty low as well but it can smoke off can disengage and yeah the crowd salvo this time around without any real damage at all yeah the uh m even more um, uh, another, another big tdbv bolt. needs to get out of there leo 2 a4 quite low as well but only a single TADBV there. More uh, resupply needs to come in for those. Mi-24 VAT pushing forward, but the Gephard is there to help out. Uh, gets on target. Leo 2A4 gets missed by the BMP3 from the south. It's so much flying around here. As the Hind disengages away from the Gephard. Rat Salvo once more, not hitting anything. That's really, really bad for Burfax here. Yeah, I think Ber Berthax, uh, these recent engagements have not gone uh, on Berthax's favor. Berthax does have a command tank on the uh, southeast of the zone, so some amount of map control is being uh, being taken by this one. But uh, the 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 ability for the lepers to fast to quickly move in, take the fight, and run out is uh, has has been working so much so far. I I think the uh, Berthax uh, no Yukipo understood that. The northern side was the ATGM side and is not moving the troops there anymore. Yeah, the artillery here still coming in. The CV has moved though. Like that, it seems like Burfax is just guess working with the artillery. And that's it can sometimes work out. You shouldn't constantly do it though. It's the chances that you are actually missing with it and just wasting ammo is too high. Rather fight, uh, shoot at even maybe low value units that you actually can see. Uh, consistently, that gives them more payoff. And oh, those Jaegers with the Panzerfaust, if they can find a kill into the TADBBK, that would be massive. First one, not really getting the kill though, and they will get stunned down here. Not hitting with the second one, and the Jaeger Panzerfaust taking a lot of damage, at least forcing the enemy out of there though. Well, it's BMP3s and TADBVs shooting at the Leo 2A4. Another one going really low, but not quite going down. As uh, we see Conqueror's M there coming in for the Gephardt and the supply trucks, but not finding the kill either. Somehow a Tor has died at the same time. I'm not quite sure where, but yeah, this back and forth is interesting.
really intense here still. Yeah, I would love to see uh, Berthax maybe send in uh, just a couple of two infantry squads up from up north to to flank into the town to start contesting the town to start uh, forcing forcing Yukipo to buy more units uh, outside of this main fight. But so far, oh no! What a huge this uh, sending in the wounded wounded tank. It was so 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 risky, and uh, but fortunately another redundant. Wait no, where is the redundant uh, command tank? Is there uh, is there a push happening down south? Yes, that is where the command tank is. Jaguar with the tow missile getting hit, getting stunned, still hitting after getting stunned. Oh, the tow missile is so powerful. Jaguar managing to smoke itself out. Leopard two A four going into the position. And, yeah, uh, this is this push yeah. once more doesn't seem like it will connect here. You keep on a strong defensive point. Ooh, the artillery could change this around. At least gets the Jaguar. But the Leo still unfazed there, and the Mater next to it will help out as well. The Leo is really showing their superiority in direct tank fights here. With the, they're really showing their main gun advantage and the side armor disadvantage of them not being exploited often enough here by Burfax yet. The high speed of the Leo 2A4 plus that 21 penetration gun uh, with great accuracy, even on motion, like that makes those guns so, so scary. Yeah, the, uh, the 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 leopard blob here moving in now with four uh, four tanks. Oh, and conquers weapon. M can connect the TDBV should disengage. Leo two A three leader goes down. TDBV that should be good enough. That's a good trade here. Burfax should be happy, and I'll leave it at that for now. Yeah, another another round going in and nah, missing. missing artillery coming in for the Leo two A four in the south though. So getting some damage there, Yuki will have to keep these guys repaired, otherwise they start to become really inefficient. Well, it's the Grutz being reloaded, more helicopters coming in here, another Hind with long-range cocoons on the way. Not the greatest damage with only 19, that's the one big issue of the cocoon, but it has long range, it is decently fast, so it still can be quite scary. Yeah, and uh, of course, if you you maneuver your helicopter smartly, you can start getting uh, getting side shots, and leopards are very vulnerable to those. Still no leader uh, for for Berthax in the middle, despite having troops there, which I think is just a massive massive shame. The uh, ma managing to dodge out the two fighters. Landing the plane and MiG-29 air, air supremacy fighter following up, trying to the, use the significantly weaker air tab of the 27th to gain some gain some ground. So much artillery is firing right now, getting get, even even getting some hits here uh, and, and at least managing to do some nice damage. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't Fifth Panzer have a pretty weak logistics tab? Yes, it has a not the strongest. It's not the, the super weak though. You should. You get three cards or at least two cards out there as well but yeah the uh, leo's needing to retreat the mig 29 gets shut down so the heinz still will have a tough time uh, the uh, tours and the tunguskas will have to keep them safe but yeah the push south here now is real leo 2a4 under fire by the hind missile coming in does get it routed might allow the TADBVs now to push in as the other Leo 2A4 is not on the strongest spot either. But yeah, there we come in the F4Fs want striking once more. BMP3 goes down as the Jaguar is still on the flank, and that is an issue. Kind of erratic smoke here out of Yuki Por, just making it a bit weird everywhere. Conquerors M missing as well. BTR 80s and TADBVs giving the fire support that they can, and. Perfect, at least stopping the take for now, but the next hind going down, the AA just not quite pushed far enough forward. Oh no, the crit! Oh, the spawning crit there, giving the matter the side shot one hit kill with a Milan one. That is so unfortunate there for Burfax, not fully capturing the zone. And now getting pushed back out here. Leo 2A3 on the charge. Those Milan ones here, nasty. The Milan ones don't really have the strength to penetrate the front armor, but the, uh, what happened here was that the, there was a side uh, side hit 
from the Milan 1, the 17 penetration, and then an extra crit critical hit of spalling, which happens randomly, which gave enough damage to, to kill the command vehicle. And uh, this and Berthax is plus one right now, considering that they did manage to gain the, the middle point and the and the, the, the southern port has been neutralized. The Ildis Furings uh, needs to move up here to capture the point, but uh, it's not doing doing so. Most likely be, being scared of uh, uh, scared of artillery. Though, okay, so the Ildis is now on the move. And uh, counter uh, battery fire, rocket ba rocket battery firing against the Milan positions, and uh, uh, doing we weakening weakening the opponent and forcing even more logistics spies. The part, Milan two uh, in a crucial spot here in the middle has run out of missiles, and uh, Yukipo is signaling a full on retreat uh, from from the middle. Now the uh, the battle lines are shifting here. A one of one of the leopards getting a. Uh, going down to one health and uh, having to be repaired once again. The two of the leopards with very little recon actually pushing up. If there were some APGMs to capture this, this could be a a, a bad position and not risking it any further. Conquerors out of ammo though, and we don't have uh, any BMPs on the battlefield anymore really. So that is a big issue here. TADVV is coming up, Grats still being reloaded, and we have two BMP3s. Oh my god, what's happened there? Oh this no! Is, oh, oh that is a tragedy of the maximum scale right there. Those no. BP3s must have been misclicked somewhere, maybe in the air fight or something, and they are now stranded in the rear. Oh, they would be so helpful right now. That is such an unfortunate thing right now. The Nonas not really connecting here either. The Milan 2 in the center got reloaded, and ah, Burfax really needs those. Conqueror's M goes down. BP3 there in a scary spot as well. Oh, this is a tragedy. This is a tragedy of the maximum scale. Yeah, BMP3 going down, TDBVs under fire. BMP3 is in the oh. rear, still not recognized. Yeah, that's not a spot where you look usually. And in yeah. the hectic games like that, you don't check the minimap in your rear that often. So, unless so you see an enemy actually killing something there, you never go back there. So those BMP3s, that is a minute of income basically wasted there. Yeah, that's uh, in, in this, this infantry could be lurking in uh, in these buildings, providing support, providing spotting, providing coverage. It's just uh, ju that's just a big, big, big problem here. And uh, you're looking at uh, Yuki Pop. Actually, flying these fighters in the back line might be positive because that might actually have Berthax look down and uh, see those see those BMP3s. But not happening unfortunately so currently it seems like yukipo is trying to kind of refresh the situation yukipo is on defensive with thousand points 15 minutes is not what you want to have here uh to you berthax needs to build up for a certain amount of minutes and then keep on pushing and it does seem like uh, yukipo's troops have with these uh man cat six by six munitions trucks with massive amounts of munitions they have been very efficiently repairing the leopards and the le leopard leopards are leopard 2a force are pretty limited in numbers but they are good enough and all of the fact that all of them on, are on board is not a problem for Yukipo. It is a problem for Berthax. <laughs> Milan too is being sent out to the town and a, a smoke field counterattack contesting the middle once again, calling Berthax's bluff, knowing that Berthax. No, Berthax is oh, oh, no. really wasting too many grad shots in on gas work here. Like he has no real vision oh. there and he just guesses that there might be a CV there. Or might be some defenses there and that he but instead of really shooting where he knows that there are units where he might do less damage and but over the game it's the amount of kratza was going in the, to the middle of nowhere if any of those would have killed like one infantry unit he would have a decent spot by now and yeah this is not great for burfax wasting another shot like that especially as those layer to a force yeah, the speed of them is their shield, but Yukipo always drawing them out just when they were on the brink of defeat, and thanks to that, he has a massive fleet of Leos, and that is going to be really, really scary. 
Yeah, the uh, the southern side is being defended mostly from the tree line with uh, multiple Fox Milans and uh, Milan ones, and even even a Pa one and Leopard. So even though Yukipo doesn't have a lot of troops on the zone, the zone is very well protected. The uh, the amount of infantry and the amount of firepower that needs to be sent to that tree line to contest uh, just doesn't exist on both axis side right now. Uh, the Spetras Vedka will do some spotting, but li likely gonna take some time to mop up this before you can actually start moving into the zone. Yeah, we see firepower in the center here against it. One infantry unit that reveals the KDBBK. Milan 2 coming around though with a shot there. Gets a miss, so that is pretty helpful for Burfax. Burfax has more inf uh, has uh, one more Spetras Vedka in the south, and there's no other infantry outside of that Pioneer Flam. If the Spetras Vedka can get in there with the, its AT launcher, that would be big. Uh, BMP3 is still stuck in the rear. Uh, if those would come in here right now into the south, they would change the power, the balance of power there completely, but I feel like they will be stranded there forever. Artillery now trying to kill off the TADBV. Leo 2A force pushing forward. One BV off. Uh, Perfect. getting a first hit there, getting a second one, but Leo 2A4 once more smoking, smoking up real well. But the artillery... Oh, can it find the kill? Oh, that TADBV is so low, that's less than one hit point. But Leo 2A4 versus BV fight happening once more. Another smoke necessary. BO helicopters at least being killed off everywhere, but the Leos on their own still doing a fantastic job. Killing off Tanguskas now. Uh, the TADBVK leader needs to smoke off and run away as well. And yeah, the southern push here. Two Leo 2A4s two there holding that off too. So all of this is still a really big struggle here for Burfax. Yeah, the BMP, a, a BMP3 actually moving in a comp from a, a kind of a weird location, trying to come from up north, and uh, Leopard 2 managing to get a shot off, and likely going to be able to get a kill here uh, with the with the rest of the rest of the troops dealing with hunter grenadiers. Kill the here for Yukipor on the leader. This is big. We only have 11 minutes remaining. We have 1,000 points on Black Forest, a map that is notoriously hard to get ticks upon. So, yeah, there we go. Perfect nah. surrenders. We have a GG and we have a new champion of Warner League. Yukipor winning 3 0 with a really dominant fashion, getting the revenge on Burfax for that win of Burfax in the group stage. And he's on a new. Warno League Champion. Congratulations to Yukipo. 